And it's time for your daily shot of hope brought to you by John. Pastor John Gray is the associate pastor at Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas. He's going to talk about some of the lessons he's learned after our first week on the air. You got it, John. Let's go, baby. Let's go, John. John Gray! Represent. Represent. In 1 Samuel 16, we hear a story of a man named Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who had sons, one of which was going to be named the next king of Israel. The prophet Samuel walks in the house and is about to anoint the first son when God says, that's not him. And then he goes down the line of seven sons. And then none of them were the one that God chose. Samuel then says, are all the young men here? Jesse said, well, there yet remains the youngest, but he's outside keeping the sheep. You don't want to see him. He's just number eight. Samuel said, go get him. We won't sit down until he comes. And as he walked in amongst his brothers who didn't believe in him and a father who couldn't even see him, even though he was living in the house with him, the oil began to flow on number eight. This is the eighth day since we've started, eight being the number of new beginnings. I've always been one that people thought less of. I was the last pick for the team. I was the buck tooth kid with alopecia, the last to get the attention, the last to get the girl, the last to think that anybody from a little two-bedroom apartment with no air conditioning in Cincinnati would ever end up in a place like this. The comments from the last week remind me of the things I've heard all my life. Wow. But I am reminded of this. Jesus, in chapter 2 of the book of John, said he did not commit himself to men because he knew what was in men, which means whether they cheer or whether they hate. John. You got to be who God has called you to be. I'm not going to minimize who I am to make insecure people feel better about themselves. I'm going to be number eight. I'm going to be great. Yeah.